I'm watching it. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to quick talk to you guys about Ticket Symbol PLTR, Palantir. So this is a company that we profile here on the channel before these guys actually went public. And they went public and for some reason the stock just uh, was so quiet. Even after all the positive news and contracts that they were signing, the stock just kept quiet for some reason. Uh, but then this past week on uh, CNBC, Jim Cramer talked about this stock and said to him, this is a long-term play. It's not an immediate pop. So I am like, yep, I still like this stock. I like the company. I like what they're doing, but I just want the stock to move. So we finally saw some movement and I think it's going to carry into this coming week. So that's why I want to do this video uh, for you guys. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and smash that like button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Paul and TA, I've done a full video here where I go in depth as to what this company does. They basically create um, analytics softwares uh, for different companies. They mostly work with uh, government agencies, but they're also expanding now into the private sector. But majority of the contracts are usually with uh, government agencies. So again, if you look at what the company does and then providing this real-time um, analytics, data analytics, I think, I mean, that's the future using AI and just um, user, using uh, machine learning. To me, that's the future, but I don't know why this stock didn't pop the way I thought it was going to pop. Because if you look at most of the other companies that went public last year uh, in the tech space, I mean, they were just incredible. They just doubled or tripled in value. And for some reason, uh, Palantir, that has been a company that um, has been around for a long time and has a reputation and has business and is signing contracts. I'm like, what is going on? I still don't understand it. And so, but finally, guys, looks like we're going to see some movement. And so uh, one of the key things that I, I, I see here that's making this, this stock to move, um, again, if we can switch here, is the fact that if you see here, Palantir is actually doing what they call a demo day. So demo day for Palantir is uh, a day where they actually want to go out and actually do a demonstration of their softwares and actually show people what the, the, the software does. Think about it as their uh, actual either battery day or neo day. In this case, is demo day for for Palantir. So this is a good catalyst because if people don't understand what you guys do, this is an opportunity to come out and really show them what this company does so that we can, you can see some motivation even on Wall Street and have some people start really talking about this stuff. Because again, I still have a good vibe about this, this company. So if you look here, uh, what Palantir has been doing, look at the, just uh, the news 2020 going into 2021. You've seen they've signed so many contracts, uh, 36 million here, 44 million here, 22.5 million here, again, 8 million here. Uh, when you hear this, this kind of uh, you know deals with other companies, the price of the stock usually jumps. But uh, for some reason, guys, uh, again, Palantir was signing these contracts and we don't hear anything. The price just sits there. And so, again, now that we have Demo Day coming up, this would be a great opportunity to push the price of the stock. Again, guys, I want you to go into this with one or two things. If you are somebody that's looking for a quick win, know that this price might spike and then pull back. So if you if you get in and get that spike up, sell and take your profit immediately. But for folks uh, that are holding long term, again, I have a position in this company that I'm holding long term because I still believe in it, even though it's so slow, I hate not seeing movement. But again, if you're somebody that's looking long term and then make sure that you find a good entry point if you don't already have it. If you have it, you don't really have to do anything. Uh, if you don't have it, you need to find a good entry point. And usually, again, when you have days like this, with this demo day, the stock is going to spike and then you see a pullback. So wait for that pullback. Don't jump in because if you jump in during that spike, you're going to buy at the top. And then it's going to pull back. You're going to sit up there waiting for it to come back to you. So be strategic. Don't panic. Again, the fear of missing out is probably going to make you want to buy the stock. If you see it going up, that's fine. Wait, it's definitely going to come back to you. Um, it just it would be a smart idea. So uh, as to when I'm doing this video right now, uh, Palantir is currently sitting somewhere at about $32.59, which is kind of cool because if you look the, this past week, 
the stock was down to uh, 25 bucks or as low yeah about 25 bucks and some change and then so it just kind of uh, moved up really good and look at that squeeze up to a new high of uh, i think 33 dollars it actually went up there so uh, i'm anticipating that with demo day if everything goes good this thing might test 36 37 which would be great. And if, I mean, if you want to really go high, don't be surprised if Palantir breaks 40. And so if Palantir breaks 40, in my personal opinion, I think our next logical support would be somewhere around $35, which is great, which is better than the $25 that we had before. So if it breaks 40, support will be $35. And that's where you can wait to start looking at getting in if you're somebody that is looking to buy long term so that's uh some of the things i wanted to bring up to you guys again um there's some major catalysts that i think pushed the stock this past week up uh, the fact that they appointed um a new uh, board of director i think that's something that will push the, the price of the stock up so that's something to to look for and then the fact that they announced that they have this demo day coming up that's obviously something that can push um, the price of the stock up because again this is uh something that you want the public to see uh, what you guys are doing. And this is the first time that Palantir is doing this um, this demo. So again, just being transparent and opening up and, and showing people uh, what they, they do as, as a company. So uh, one of the things that I, I wanted to mention here is the fact that this company has some controversy because of the fact the company, the software that they designed, people had issues with them at one point because they were providing the software to, I think, the uh, immigration department and also, again, with the state department. A lot of people were mad at them that they're using it to track and um, you know deport people. Again, this is I, I don't want to get into the politics of it. I don't really care about the politics of it. I don't care if you put a rock in the White House. I'm absolutely going to be doing what the market is doing. In this case, I'm just telling you guys that this um, uh, particular company has that people have uh, you know looking to make sure that they they hold them accountable per se. Uh, which again, that's up to you to decide. You know who has to hold them accountable. So, but the the thing that got me was the fact that the, the the CEO actually said, "We don't care if you think that what we're doing is bad. Don't use us. Don't use our service." I'm like, okay, that's the free market, in my opinion. So it was it was kind of refreshing to see that a CEO would would, would surely say something like that. If you're looking at where the stock is trading right now, that thirty two dollars and fifty cents, this company is probably worth about. A market cap of about fifty six point seven billion dollars, which is insane. So I think it. I mean, again, for you guys that are looking to get in, there's there's huge potential there. But know that long term, it be it's something that you should worry about. If for short term, um, just play this one with caution. That would be my my advice. So again, guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. Um, demo day again is um, on the 26th. I think that's correct. So demo day again is on January 26th, as you guys can see here. So um, it, it, the Monday would be a great opportunity to see what the market is doing, the reaction. And then if you want to jump in and then ride it through demo day, take your profit and then wait back to buy again for long term, that would be a good strategy to deploy. So yeah, play this one with you know with smart and be, make sure that you do your homework and not just jump in there and and go get burned. That would be my advice. Again, I have points here. I'm using it. I'm playing this one long term. But again, I'm going to trade demo day just like I did with you guys when I I said uh, Neo Day was coming by. It takes that profit and then wait uh, for that pullback before you can buy long term. So again, that's the, the same strategy that we're going to deploy uh, on this one. If you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If there's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Webo is still doing a promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get four free stocks, two just for signing up and opening your account, and then two uh, once you deposit $100. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, always make sure that you do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated. Yeah.